Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You may have seen the previous video where I showed editing 8K footage on this Gigabyte Aero 15 laptop. I thought in this video we could take a look at the render speeds for this laptop. So if we get into Premiere Pro here, we'll start off with some 4K footage. So I'm just going to open this 4K sequence of drone footage. This was shot on a DJI Mavic 2 Pro in 4K mode. It was shot using D-Log-M and we've got this color grade as well just to add a bit of extra workload. And we've already got a music track down here. So let's start off by rendering this 4K drone footage. So I've made sure that both of these sequences are going to be pretty much five minutes long. Just go to the end here. So this is five minutes of 4K footage. Let's come down to the export media option. We'll make sure we've got the entire sequence selected down here. And we're going to use H.264 and we're going to use this adaptive high bitrate preset. Just gonna specify an output file name. Let's write this to the desktop. We'll just call it 4K test. And if we have a look at the video settings here, we're matching the source video width and height. So I'm just going to leave all this as is. And if I'm not mistaken, this is VBR one pass with a target bit rate of 60.7 megabits per second. So we'll leave all that as it is and we'll hit export. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hit start on the stopwatch here. Okay, three, two, one, go. So that's the stopwatch started. We'll see how long this takes. We've got an estimated time of three minutes and 25 seconds. See you in a minute. All right, we're getting close now. Finger poised. Four, three, two, one. Stop. So that took three minutes and 40 seconds to render five minutes of 4K drone footage with a color grade. Next, I'm gonna open up the 8K sequence. So I'm gonna come down here, come down to the 8K sequence, open this up. Once again, this is five minutes long, and this footage consists of a number of clips, and I got these clips from raw.film. These are 8K raw red helium clips. So let's head back to Premiere Pro. Once again, we'll come up to the export dialog. Once again, I'm going to choose entire sequence. I'm going to choose match source adaptive bitrate once again. And because this is 8K footage, notice here that the width and height have been set to 8K. So I'm not going to change anything else. We'll just click export and we'll reset the timer. And three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see how long this takes. Okay, we're almost there now. It's taking a long time. I'll show you the final time in a minute. We're one minute and 47 seconds away. It's also gonna be interesting to see what the size of this rendered 8K file is. It's probably gonna be quite horrendous for five minutes. Four seconds, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so to render a five minute 8K sequence took one hour and six minutes. Which is quite a long time, but it's not too bad for a laptop, I suppose. Let's have a look at the file sizes. That could be quite interesting. So they're just on the desktop. So this 4K file is 2.2 gigabytes. And this 8K file is 8.3 gigs, give or take. I'm going to try and open this up, see what happens. Okay, that's not great, is it? So it seems Windows Media Player is not so good with 8K content. Let's test the 4K version. And the 4K one seems to work. Okay. So that's the rendering of 4K and 8K sequences on this laptop. The 8K one obviously took a lot more time, but it's cool that you can at least do it. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, that really helps the channel. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.